This is a tutorial on how to do video analysis in Logger Pro. First thing we need to do is insert our movie to be analyzed. So go up to Insert, select Movie, find your movie wherever it's located. I put mine on the desktop here. And this is what we're going to go ahead and analyze. First thing we need to do is turn on the video analysis features by clicking on this button down here with the three dots. You see these new set of buttons appear on the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and play the video until the buggy is at the spot where I want to actually start collecting the data. And I can use these frame forward and frame back buttons to go ahead and find the precise location where I would like to begin collecting the data. I'm going to go ahead and do it from the time that the student has really let go of the data. And so I'm going to I let go of the buggy. I'm going to begin right here. I'm going to start by setting my origin. That's the third button down. It says set origin. I'm going to use the front wheel of the buggy as my starting position. Now you'll notice that the road where this buggy is traveling is not perfectly straight, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that yellow dot and I can pivot these axes a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do that so that they're right along the back line of that meter stick. And then I'm going to go and click this button here, show origin, and turn that off so that the axes are not in the way of my data selection. Next, I'm going to go ahead and click on this red dot here that says add point. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on that middle part of the front wheel. And you'll see that the buggy will advance to the next frame in the video. And I keep doing this as we are traveling. And you'll see that these points get created. I'm going to do this pretty quickly here so we can just get a sense of how this works. And you guys will take a lot more time with your video analysis. But this is what we're looking at. Now, you'll notice I'm going to hit page auto arrange. You'll see here are the graphs. And right now you'll see that I have X and Y with no units. I have to tell the computer how many pixels equal a certain length. I'm going to click on this yellow ruler, which is set scale, and click and drag across the meter stick and tell the computer that this distance is one meter. And by doing that, now I have X and Y values that are correspondingly in meters. So that's how we go ahead and get our data into Logger Pro. Then you can go ahead and analyze accordingly. To actually show the velocity graphs, you could go ahead and click on the axis here, and you could actually look and select the velocity graphs in those directions. So we've got X position, Y position, X velocity, and Y velocity, all from the clicking of our single points.